Sea Wolf class submarines have a number of advantages that make them one of the most advanced submarines in the world. First, the advantage in terms of stealth and hiding. The design minimizes the acoustic signature and radar cross-section, making it difficult to detect by the enemy. This camouflage technology allows Sea Wolf submarines to approach targets undetected, giving them a significant tactical advantage. Advanced Weapons and Defense Technology These submarines are equipped with a variety of weapon systems, including advanced torpedoes and the ability to fire cruise missiles that can threaten ground or surface targets. The active and passive defense system also increases the ability to survive in the face of enemy attacks. The Sea Wolf class has broad operational capabilities. With a nuclear propulsion system, this submarine can operate for a long period of time without the need to refuel. High maneuverability and greater operational depth than any other submarine provide added flexibility and protection in a variety of operational situations. With a combination of advantages in terms of stealth, weapons technology, and operational capabilities, Sea Wolf class submarines are a very effective tool in force projection. See and carry out strategic missions in a complex aquatic environment. Although Sea Wolf class submarines are considered highly sophisticated and high-tech submarines, to say that nothing can kill a Sea Wolf submarine is an exaggeration that is inaccurate. No weapon system or technology is completely insolvable, and the Sea Wolf submarine, like all military systems, has certain weaknesses and limitations. Technology isn't miracle even though Sea Wolf class submarines are equipped with the latest technology, no system is immune from its vulnerability to attack as new innovations come, weapons technology and military tactics are constantly evolving, and what is considered safe today may become vulnerable in the future. Front Anti-submarine, Sea Wolf submarines may have strong anti-reconnaissance capabilities, but anti-submarine technology is also evolving and can become a threat. The detection of these submarines is very stealth, nothing is completely undetectable. Detection technology is constantly evolving, and ships can be recognized if more advanced technology is used, submarines can become vulnerable to air attack, especially if the adversary has advanced aircraft or missile technology. Surface ships with advanced anti-submarine technology can still pose a serious threat to Sea Wolf submarines. Cyber attacks and electronic attacks can disrupt submarine systems and communications, reducing their effectiveness. Limited supply submarines also require supplies of fuel, food and ammunition, which makes them vulnerable to supply attacks. I want to emphasize that no submarine, including the Sea Wolf class, is truly unkillable. The Sea Wolf submarine is indeed a very sophisticated submarine and is designed with features that increase its life-saving rate and ability to survive in various situations. However, like all military systems, they have weaknesses and limitations that must be considered. In the world of military and technology, no one is completely immune to all forms of threats. Sea Wolf class submarines may be advanced submarines. But like all military systems they have limitations and potential vulnerabilities to future attacks and threats. Submarines are vulnerable to changes in weather and extreme sea conditions, which can affect their operations. Human factors, such as crew errors or technical problems, can also affect submarine performance. New, unexpected tactics can trigger weaknesses in submarine defenses. Penetration technology, technology used by adversaries, such as rescue boats or underwater drones, can become a threat to submarines. Despite having advanced sensors, submarine sensors also have limitations, especially in difficult environmental conditions. Asymmetrical warfare, asymmetrical tactics by the enemy, such as joint attacks from multiple sources, can overcome submarine defenses, technology surprise, invention of new technologies by other countries or non-state military groups can change the defensive fortifications. Maintenance and repair, submarines require periodic maintenance and repairs, and during these periods, they may be more vulnerable to threats. Submarine stealth technology can reduce the probability of being detected, but it is not immune to all methods of detection, dependence on infrastructure, Submarines depend on the infrastructure that supports their operations, which can also be the target of attack. Electronic warfare, sophisticated electronic warfare attacks can be disruptive submarine navigation, communication and defense systems. In the evolution of conflict, what is considered insoluble today may no longer be relevant in the future. Sea Wolf class submarines have a sophisticated design with specialized surfaces to reduce their acoustic signature, making them difficult to detect by enemies. Life maintenance technology, these submarines have advanced life maintenance systems, such as equipment to filter air and store food, enabling them to operate away from base. 
Its high camouflage ability makes it difficult to be identified by enemy radar or sonar. The structure of the Sea Wolf submarine is designed to withstand several types of attacks, such as torpedo and missile attacks. Active and Passive Defense Systems The submarine is equipped with active defense systems such as sonar deception, as well as passive defense systems to reduce the risk of attack. Missile Shooting Capability Sea Wolf is equipped with the ability to fire cruise missiles that can threaten ground or surface targets, providing flexibility in operational tactics. Sea Wolf submarines can operate at greater depths than other submarines, providing additional protection from surface threats. Using a nuclear reactor as a power source, the submarine can operate for long periods of time without the need to refuel. The isolated compartment design allows the submarine to survive and operate even if some parts are damaged. Sea Wolf submarines have high maneuverability, allowing them to evade threats more effectively. However, despite these advantages, Sea Wolf submarines also have some limitations. The costs of constructing and operating Sea Wolf class submarines are very high, limiting the number that can be produced. The high tech reliability of these submarines means the possibility of technical problems remains there is, despite their high operational depth, there is a limit to the specific depths that Sea Wolf submarines can reach. Vulnerable to air attack. Sea Wolf is a surface to air missile defense system developed by the United States Navy. However, it should be noted that the statement unresolved may be a bit too much. Neither defense system nor weapons are truly unbreakable. Each system has certain weaknesses and limitations. 17. Sea Wolf is designed to protect warships from surface to air missile threats. The system has the ability to quickly detect, track and destroy enemy missiles, giving the enemy missiles little time to reach their target. Sea Wolf uses state-of-the-art technology such as advanced radar, automatic tracking systems and multi-target tracking capabilities. This enables these systems to address more complex and diverse threats. 18. Sea Wolf has the ability to identify and track low-flying threats, such as arrow missiles. This is important because such missiles are more difficult to detect and intercept than conventional missiles, having the ability to intercept missiles at great distances before they approach the ship's target. This provides a larger and earlier layer of defense against threats. Sea Wolf integrates with other defense systems on warships, such as the Sea Wiz, close-in weapon system, weapon system to complement the ship's air defense. 19. However, as previously mentioned, no system is completely solved. For example, faster development of missile technology, new tactics, or more sophisticated enemy equipment can reduce Sea Wolf's effectiveness. In addition, technical problems, vulnerabilities to electronic attacks, or weaknesses in use can affect system performance. It is important to remember that the success of a defense system depends not only on technology, but also on personnel training, operational tactics, and other factors.